Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. Okay, I decided to come on. My power did not go out, <laughs> which is great. Um, so with that being said, the wind is still crazy outside, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? So I decided to come back on. So here I am. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and for liking the videos. It really, really helps me with the algorithm. Get out there. Um, but it doesn't matter, right? Whatever's going to happen, God's going to, God's going to take care of it. So with that being said, <laughs> Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like my energy and you like how I read. I do collective general reads all the time. So it helps to pick up on your energy. Okay? So it just, you know, it's kind of like a personal, but it's not a personal. But anyway, I'm a psychic medium. I channel the messages and I just let things flow. All right. So <laughs> use your discernment and intuition when it comes to these readings. Okay? Do not shoot the messenger. Whatever comes out. It comes out. That's the way it is. I intuitively read. All right. With that being said, most of you already here know who I am and what I do. So we're going with it. Um, these are potential. So please understand that change is always constant. Things can change. Your energy can change. Their energy can change. Whatever dynamic. Okay. Free will is involved and God has the final say. God has the final say. All right. So I'm deciding on using this deck. Um, I don't know why. I was just like, all right, I'm going to use this deck. So let's see what's going on for the collective right now. Yeah. I'm just like, I woke up to a song this morning and the song won't go away out of my head. <laughs> it's by Chingy and Tyrese. Um, pulling me back. I think that's what it's called. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. I need you in my life. So I keep hearing that. So, yeah. It's crazy. All right, what does the collective need to know? Gotta make it work. I feel like somebody's rushing towards you. This could be somebody new. <laughs> or this could be a past person and a new transformed, changed version of themselves. Everybody can change. I do believe that. Um, so, yeah. What does the collective need to know? One more, please, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. I know the angels are here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, High Priestess. There's something here, like you, there's something here, maybe you feel like something's about to happen. There's some communication coming in with the Eight of Wands. Something's about to happen really fast, and I feel like you could feel it. You could feel it. You could see it. You have the gift of foresight. There's something about you being very, very psychic and intuitive and having the ancient wisdom within you. You hold the keys um, within yourself. There's something here that's not, like... You know something's about to happen. You know you know communication's going to happen. You feel it. Something about the planets aligning because the planets are on this card. The planets are aligning for you. <laughs> but eight of wands, there's something about a sunflower as well. All right. It has to do maybe with spirituality because the sunflower like looks to the sun and it's all about spirituality. You could be a spiritualist. You don't have to be. Everybody has a different religion. I don't judge on that. But... There's something here about things moving fast. Um, crescent moon might mean something to you. Half moon. I don't know which one that is. Zigzags. Seeing zigzags and arrows. Again, with the number eight, that means something. All right. Okay. What is going on with the collective? What is, what is going on that the collective needs to know? Yeah. There's something here. Something's had you in nine of swords energy and five of swords energy. I feel like if this is communication that comes in towards you, I feel like this communication is going to leave you kind of in fear. I also feel like maybe you've been in your head about it. Maybe you have been having restless sleep or whatever communication this is. This could be a person that's in like in I'm hearing in over their head. 
kind of like anxious, nervous to come and talk to you. There's something here about them walking, walking the, uh, on the ledge. Yeah. See, thank you for the lights flickering. They're walking on the ledge or you're walking on the ledge. It's like, there's something here about communication coming in. I'm sorry. I'm just itching everything. <laughs> So this is restless sleep though. This is anxiousness. Somebody's very anxious to talk to you. Very anxious to talk to you or you're very anxious to talk to somebody. Up or down? Up or down? Okay. Up or down? Somebody. Up or down? Yeah, the moon coming out. The five of swords. There's a lot of fear. Whoever this person is is very scared to come and speak, or you're scared. Somebody's gonna have you in this fear when they come and speak to you. There's something about anxiousness. Somebody's very anxious to talk to you. Um, but I also feel like, yeah, I, I also feel like, like, she looks like down at these two things in the water. And it's like, yeah, you got the two gems, but like, she looks kind of sad. So I'm feeling that this person or you are very sad and in fear and like I'm hearing unstable when it comes to like, excuse me, or you're going to be unstable when it comes to this communication coming in. You want to be happy. There's something here about you being happy. Again, with the sunflowers means something. There's a baby on the horse. So some sort of creation maybe that you're worried about too. Something's going to happen really fast. Swift action, eight of wands is like, it's also telepathic communication as well. Um, somebody's been tel telepathically communicating with you through your sleep, maybe through your dreams. Um, five of swords, it's, it's you're scared, you're worried. Um, this is also self-sabotage. Maybe you're sabotaging something because you're getting the communication through your dreams, but you're sabotaging yourself, okay? Somebody's worried. You got justice here. Justice is here. Balance is about to be restored in your life. If this is a person that you haven't communicated with in a while, or like they cut communication completely out, um, and they're really nervous to come and talk to you because they want to make things right. They want to bring things back into balance. They want to do things the right way. However, I feel like maybe they've been telepathically communicating to you and they're and, God is saying this is your justice. There's something here about you having justice and like balance being restored. Four of Pentacles, this could be something you've been holding on to for a while as well, like wanting somebody to communicate with you or, or them wanting to communicate with you. There's something here about holding on. But it's funny because in this card, there's two butterflies, right? Infinity symbol. No, it's not the infinity symbol. Yeah, there's something here. Lotus flower. You're anxious about something. Also, like, it's, look at the pentacles. She's like this. She's not holding on. She's like this. This is somebody that is worried that I guess you're going to, like, <laughs> like, you know how it is when you, like, hold on to something and then it goes out of your hands. I feel like somebody's anxious and worried to come and talk to you because what they have to say to you is going to bring justice to whatever is going on. This could actually be closure. This could also be a divorce as well. Um, a legal situation. Maybe there's a legal situation going on with you or this person. There's something here about feeling like you're not within their grasp or you're, you, you got to let go. There's something about letting things go. Like letting things go about communicating with somebody, letting things go and releasing, releasing whatever was there, okay? And then now having options. I also feel like there's a person here that's worried that you have options because maybe you let them go. And the seven of cups is confusion, it's options, it's thinking. Yeah, something with the moon cycles. Confusion. I'm feeling confusion. Somebody might have been confusing you or is, or this this conversation, this communication is confusing you um, or is about to confuse you. And it's going to make you kind of like question everything. 
You're going to have to use your intuition when it comes to this. Okay? You're going to have to really use your intuition when it comes to this. When it comes to whatever communication is coming in. Because you, it, it's... I don't know how this communication is going to go for you. <laughs> I just feel the energy is kind of like you had to release someone maybe from your heart. You had to let go. It's like you're not holding on anymore. And like things have to be brought into balance. And now that there's options coming in, there's something hidden from you that you're not seeing. The moon card being there, that's something hidden. That's something hidden. What is this? What is this? Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? What's hidden from the collective? What's hidden from the collective? Let's see. Knight of Wands. Eight of Cups. Somebody left something behind. Somebody completed a cycle. Maybe it's you. Maybe what's hidden is you're walking away. The Knight of Wands came out first. I said, what's hidden? from the collective, the world. Things are about to come for a circle. Once you have like, I don't know if you let go of like this person or let go of the need for this person or like, you know what, whatever, no communication, no communication, no contact, no contact, whatever. There's something here about, and if this is this person, they're worried that you let them go and now that you have options and now they're like, fuck, because there was something there that they hid from you. Oh my God, this won't stop itching. Right? Masculine energy. Because masculine's on the right, feminine's on the left. Anyway, somebody's about to take action. There's action that's about to be taken. Somebody wants to rush back into your life with a lot of passion. Somebody wants to make a move. Because I feel like they felt that. There's something about this person felt like you said, you know what? Take it. Like, here, I don't want it anymore. Like, I just want to, there's something here, though. Opening your heart. You're opening your heart to new options. You're opening your heart to new, yeah, and somebody's about to make a move and rush fast. Somebody's going to communicate with you. Somebody's coming in to take action because you might have, like, opened up your heart for new possibilities and new things. And now, like, the moon is there. The moon is something was hidden from you that you were not being able to see. You were not being shown at all. And all you had to do was open up your heart in order for you to, you know, you had to let go and open up your heart and just tell God, you know, just whatever, whatever you have, right? Something is going to be brought back into balance. You had to leave something behind, possibly. I just heard a ding on my phone, but there's no ding. I heard a ding, like a chime on a phone. So you might be getting a DM. You might be getting a communication. It sounded like a message or something like that. So something, what, 1322 is on the clock. There's something here about maybe you had to leave something behind. You know, maybe you had to, or maybe, maybe this is going up another level. There's something here that you had, that you had to open your heart for. And now action can be taken. But something was hidden from you and you have to use your intuition when this communication, when whatever comes in. There's going to be options coming your way. Opportunities, possibilities. If you're holding on to one person and you're just let go of that one person if they're not even in your life and they're not bothering with you because when you let go and you release, and I know because I... I understand <laughs> still going through it but you can open up your heart and receive options and all your all the blessings that are coming in there's more things coming to you you're just not seeing it there's something here about the stairs on here i'm being drawn to the stairs yeah it's like you have one cup left there's something about you have one cup left uh, 1433 was on the clock and it stopped. It was like, stop. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll say that. And then all of a sudden it moved. So there's something here about maybe you having to leave something behind and going towards your true purpose, but now actions being taken. I feel like you're ascending. 
I feel like whoever this person is coming in, if this is a person coming in, I feel like this person, it might be on your level. They might be on your level. And that's why God is saying, like, stop being in the nine of swords. Things are going to be made right. And this could be somebody from your past. doesn't have to be. It could be somebody in new, a new form. Okay? There's something here coming full circle, though. You're, you're being rewarded with, with, with something. <sighs> Tell me more about this for the collective. Yeah, there's something here. Wow. These cards are very fucking talkative. Do I take all of them? I mean, that's a lot, spirit. No, no, no. Hierophant came out. Seven of Wands came out. Ten of Pentacles came out, kind of in reverse. These are too many. I don't know. No, 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 no. All right. What action is being taken towards the collective? What action? What action? What action is being taken towards the collective? I couldn't even get my damn cards. Like, I was like, eh. Nine of Pentacles. There's something here about you living your life the way you want to live it. You being magnetic. You're, you're magnetizing people to you. That's what it is. Your energy, you might have opened up your heart and pushed out your heart energy, and now all of a sudden things are coming in. Okay? Five of Wands right here. Five of Wands is usually conflict, chaos, inner conflict. It's usually competition energy. People are going to be fighting for you. Whoever this person is coming in or like Knight of Wands energy, people are going to be flocking to you. This is what's going on. There's something here about competition energy coming in. Maybe somebody was competing with you about something. And now like and it, they had you in your in your head a little bit. And like, once you have communication, like what it could be a friend, once you have communication with this person, it's kind of like, okay, you know, but there's something here about this five of wands and this tower card. Somebody here was maybe causing conflict in your life. Maybe that's what you had to walk away from. Conflict that was in your life. Somebody that was causing conflict in your life. Somebody that was causing chaos in your life. Maybe this is competition. I feel competition energy, though. I'm not even playing. I feel like people are going to be fighting for you. Um, I have to write that down. <laughs> oh, God. You're funny. You're funny, eh? You old chap. All right, hold on. I feel that. To be competing for you. I feel like this is going to leave you into shock. I feel like this is something that you're not expecting. This is an unexpected, I'm hearing unexpected wish. This is some sort of unexpected breakthrough. You have, a, you might be going through a glow up right now. I'm not even going to lie. You're very magnetic. You're very sexy. There's something about you that people are drawn to you. Whoever, like, whoever's coming in, they're going to be flocking. They're going to be flocking. Something about fire as well. This could be a fire sign coming in because the Knight of Wands is, like, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's something here, though. It could be air as well. I'm seeing the clouds. So it could be air or fire sign. It doesn't have to be. I'm hearing you rock somebody's world. <laughs> All right. Tell me more about what's coming in for the collective with this action being taken. What is this action? There is there is competition. I'm feeling there's competition energy. I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Somebody's been trying to... You might have been going through a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. You might have been going through a lot of exhaustion. There's something here about Ten of Swords. Somebody's been trying to fucking maybe send daggers towards you. Mm. Mm. I don't feel like it's mm, doesn't have to be romantic. I feel like it's competition energy. There's something here with this ten of swords. <sighs> what is this tower for the collector? What is it? What is this tower? Cards just keep flying. The star. You're the fucking star of the show. 
That's why. You the fucking star of the show. Holy shit balls. Wow. Do I take this off right now? You change somebody's perspective. You might actually be going through a spiritual awakening right now. Tower card. And that's why you're having a glow up. That's why you're having like everybody magnetized towards you. Like there's something about your energy, right? With this hierophant right here, this is like siren again. Siren again. I've been hearing sirens, honks, and cock. Um, I was going to say cocks. <laughs> Sorry. I was hearing, I was hearing sirens. I was hearing honks from cars, and I was hearing crows earlier, cawing. Something is about to happen for you, collective. Some bigs coming. You got this here, fin card right here. This could be a high level of high level, um, high level commitment. This could be somebody coming in to offer you love. This could be somebody that wants to marry you. Um, this this could be somebody um, that, and this is the tower card. I did ask what the tower is. This is commitment coming in. If you're single right now and you're in your nine of pentacles energy, you are fucking bringing in all these fucking options and like people are flocking to you and like you're not even doing anything. That's the funny thing. You're not even doing anything. When you're in that nine of pentacles energy or that empress energy, you don't have to do shit. You could be just chilling out at your house in your sweatpants and your sweatshirt and fucking watching TV and all of a sudden people messaging you or something like that because I was hearing that ding. And it's not on my phone. And I know I heard it. Um, I fucking know I heard it. There's something here. Somebody is about to like, or this could be, this could be a spiritual awakening as well. You're, you might be ascending. You might be going through a spiritual awakening yourself. Or there's somebody here coming in that's going through a spiritual awakening. There's my left hand. And they're going to come in and fight for you. They, they, they can't resist this tower. There's something about this tower. And sometimes tower is our karma. Sometimes towers hit one after another after another. It's kind of like, you know, somebody being like, shit, you know, why is my life going down the tubes? Why the fuck does this keep happening? It's because what did you do? Look at your life. Reflect. What did you do? Because this is the infinite. This is the year eight. What goes around comes around. Whatever's going to fuck it. Whatever you put out there. Coming right back to you, good or bad. You put out a lot of love, it's going to come back to you. You put out a lot of hate, that's going to come back to you. Don't matter. Uh, my hand won't stop itching. I'm just saying. There's something here, though. You might be going through a spiritual awakening. There's something here that you might have been resisting as well. You might have been resisting a tower moment. Because that five of wands is also resistance, inner conflict. There's something here that you know, but... You know something's going to happen. You just don't know what it is. Yes, maybe you feel like communication is coming in, but it's like, fuck, I don't know what this communication is going to lead to. I don't know who wants to come and talk to me. I don't know. Somebody wants to move fast with you. This, this nine of wands energy is player energy. That's in and out, hot and cold. You know, it's somebody that rushes in, but rushes, rushes out just as fast. They come in, they treat you like a booty call, friends with benefits kind of attitude, kind of, kind of bullshit. But the thing is, I don't feel that with this card because it's, yes, it's by an eight of cups. Maybe you left that. Maybe you walked away from that and decided to take care of yourself and, and, and ascend. And now you're going to have people competing for you. This could be in business too. But the tower card is here. There's a major breakthrough coming. This is massive. I feel like if it's a person coming in that fucking did that shit to you, they're having a major spiritual awakening. They're having to ascend. They've been resisting a tower, but they're realizing hairpin. Now it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be that. But somebody had to change their perspective. And maybe you did, or maybe they did, or you're making people maybe change their perspectives on spirituality. Or maybe your your <sighs> hairpin is also traditional beliefs, it's also religious views. Maybe your religious views are different. And maybe like you're having people look at it from a different perspective. Like this is a whole bunch of stuff. But the thing is, star healing. Maybe you had to change your perspective or you have to change your perspective on looking at commitment and what it is. Looking at marriage and what it is. And just 
accepting it for what it is. Just because you marry somebody don't mean shit. Just because it's a piece of paper. It's a fucking piece of paper. It's a contract. You know? Doesn't mean nothing. Doesn't mean they're not going to go out and cheat on you. Doesn't mean they're going to fucking, you know? Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean they're going to be loyal to you. And I hate to be that way, but I ain't going to fucking put false hope. I understand. I was married. I get it. Like, shit happened. Takes two to fucking be in a marriage. And if you're going to, if you, if both of you guys can't be on the same fucking page and talk about shit, y'all can't trust each other. It is what it is. Like, do, do you, boo. Bottom line is there's something here about a change of perspective. Needing to change your perspective, maybe on your religious views or how you see things religiously or spiritually. Um, I feel like somebody's having a spiritual awakening. Like that could be you though. Your crown chakra is fucking whoever you are. Your crown chakra is wide fucking open. It's like, maybe you see this coming. Maybe you see a commitment coming. But you're nervous about it, right? You had to leave shit behind. Maybe you have to leave behind past issues, past traumas, past relationships. And head towards your, you're heading towards your true purpose. You walked away from something or you had to leave stuff behind. Let go of things that no longer fucking benefit you and don't add value to your life. If anything, they took away from it. But yet you got the clarity. You got the experience. You got to live it. So now you know what to do. You're wiser. Now people are going to be competing for you. Don't resist this tower. Whatever, this tower is change. There is a fucking change happening. And it's not always a good change. Yeah, I can fuck you up. Can throw your ass out the fucking tower. But would you rather stay in a burning building? Either way, you're kind of screwed, right? You either break your bones or you burn. Hmm. The star being at the bottom of the deck, the world being underneath, things coming full circle. There's something here with the star card. This is healing. This is wishes granted. This is alignment. I'm also hearing letting go of fears actually will help. There's something here about one foot in, one foot out. I feel like, I feel like some, the, you're making somebody see the, see the, what it's like to be committed possibly to one person and this person might have been or these people might be people that are like one foot in one foot out you know like kind of un emotionally unavailable you're making somebody go into you, you, you there's somebody here that's going to dip their toe in because her foot is not all the way in the water it's just a toe i'm just gonna dip my toe in see where you're at with this what do you think but again healing there had to be healing involved in this, whatever this is. Maybe you're healing your heart right now. Maybe you're healing, you're doing a lot of healing and introspection. But you being the star, you could be somebody that's on a platform, has a lot of social media, put yourself out there, and things have been like, what the fuck? And it's been in this nine of swords energy. But there's a reason why things might have been stuck, because the hangman is also stuck energy. There could be somebody here also where you feel like you're stuck in a commitment. And you want to get the fuck out of it, but you can't until you heal. There's something here because hangman is also stuck energy. But I feel like with that crown chakra being wide open, I feel like you're having more clarity and you're seeing things clearly. That's what I feel. All right. Mm. That's what that's what's coming. That's what the tower card is. Your fan. Another horn. Tell me more about this star card for the collective. Some. Ooh, ooh. Okay. You got the six of pentacles on the bottom with six of wands. Six, six, ace of pentacles. Something's coming in. Something's coming in. You're going to be so happy. The devil at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Fuck the devil. Fuck the devil. All right. King of Wands, right? King of Wands right here. 
You got the King of Wands. The Magician flew on top of, ready? The Tower, the Hierophant, and the Hangman. You see it right here? That's the Magician. The Magician flew on top of that. Why does it feel like my phone is gone? It's weird. <sighs> Something happened. Something keeps making me feel like I, I felt a vibration on my phone and nothing happened. <sighs> Tell you, Jesus, Jesus, don't be offended by me saying Jesus. Me and Jesus got a cool ass fucking relationship. Okay. King of Wands right here. This is determination. This is ambition. There's, if this does not sound romantic, this is something about you having your ambition, having your determination and motivation to make things work, to keep going after your goals and your dreams. Now, the King of Wands is actually looking at the star. That could be somebody that's seeing you out in public, seeing you out in the world, but they're determined to come in. Whoever this person is, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, you've got Aquarius energy, Taurus energy, Aries, Libra, you got Sagittarius, Moon is Cancer, Eight of Cups, I think it's Scorpio, Seven of Cups, I want to say Scorpio Pisces. I don't know all the friggin' signs, guys. Just bear with me. I think you got double Taurus here with Her Herofin and Hangman. Tauruses are very fucking determined. They're very bullheaded, very stubborn. They don't take, they, they like fucking go after their shit. Like they are on point. Then you got this five of wands. Hmm. I don't know. Magician is Aries, okay? You got somebody here that's determined to look at the, the, this person might be looking at their healing or having to see if you heal. I feel like also like you got somebody watching you. You're, you're getting public recognition and attention for the star that you are. Somebody put you on a pedestal. Whoever this person is put you on a fucking pedestal. But there's healing involved. He's looking right at you. He meaning King of Wands, no gender and tarot. But take it how you see fit. The magician. They've been freaking manifesting you. They've been trying to bring you. They, they've been trying to like manifest as above, so below, as within, as without. You create your own reality. 5D can happen on the 3D or whatever dimension you're on. And whatever's happening on the inside is happening on your outside. So if you have a lot of chaos and drama and everything going on in your life around you, what aren't you healing inside? Look at your heart chakra. What the fuck is going on inside of your body that you need to fucking heal? Because the only way you can actually have everything that you want and manifest is by going through the shit, going through your emotions, going through your healing, doing what you need to do, and believing and changing that fucking mindset, which could be this. Changing your mindset when it comes to a relationship. Changing your mindset when it comes to spirituality. There's something here. Somebody sees you. Whoever this person is is watching you. The magician right here, this is somebody who like... You have an infinite connection with possibly, but the magician has all the tools that they need. They don't need to go and ask other people to like help. Does it help? Yes. But this person, this person knows how to fucking manifest. There's somebody here who knows how to manifest. This could very well be you. I'm getting a headache on my left side. This could very well be you. Three of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to work with you and have teamwork with you. This is the Holy Trinity as well. I, I, every time I look at this, I see a steeple. The light is shining above the church. Okay? It's a steeple. I don't know why I'm hearing wedding chapel. But it is what it is. You got the birds in the air. Right? Lots of birds. Birds are, be, birds are messengers. And I feel like this person wants to send you... Whoever this, whoever this is, whether it's a ton of people, you're going to be getting communication like crazy. Somebody here wants to send you a message. And they've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And they were like, you know what? I need to compromise with this person. I need to come in. I need to, I need to get out of this fuck boy, fuck girl energy. And I need to fucking just make my move already and just be action oriented. You know, there's something here about the three of pentacles, teamwork, compromise, you know, flexibility, 
the, whoever this is is kind of terrified to contact you and talk to you and, and is nervous because they're afraid if they try to compromise with you, you're not going to be okay with it. Like there's something here. I also feel like this person doesn't want you to know. But too bad. Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. This is somebody who wants to give to you. This is somebody who wants to give to you. And this is going to be successful. The, the, the lower chakras right here. Solar plexus, sacral, and root chakra. Lower plexus, she's got that, that moon or whatever that is on her lower chakras. Something here about your success. You're about to receive success. Somebody here wants to work with you. There's going to be, there's a manifestation in place if this is not romantic. You've got to keep that determination and go after what you want. Your wish is about to be granted, but you, you, you're you about to receive success. If this is somebody coming in that wants that with you, you're going to be successful. Six of wands. They want to come in and give you the attention that you deserve. You're going to get the recognition, the attention that you deserve. And maybe it has to do with your money. Ace of Pentacles, financial security, financial stability. Tell me more about this um, King of Wands, please. Who is this King of Wands? What does this King of Wands want with the collective? We've got Knight of Wands, the King. Coming in as a knight, really a king. No pages. That's interesting. Knight. Five of Swords. Yeah. Devil's at the bottom of the deck. There's somebody here that is obsessed. Obsessed. Feels like they're, it feels like you belong to them. Okay, so check this. This person feels bound to you. All right. They're telling me top of the deck. Page of Swords. This person's been watching you. They feel bound to you. They're worried that, that you're going to get you're going to have more people coming. They're, they're so worried that somebody's going to snatch you up. This person could be very possessive, jealous, codependent. This person can have um, an addiction problem, alcohol, drugs, sex, um, porn. I laugh when I hear porn because I'm just like, mm -hmm. no 18 plus here right now. But this person has like could have mental issues. There's somebody here that's been watching you that feels in this devil energy. This could be somebody that doesn't show you the mask that they're wearing. Like they show you the mask, but they don't show you what's underneath. This person, whoever this is, feels bound to you. This is a king of wands. This person feels bound to you. They feel like they can't, there, there's something about you. Like you guys are chained together. And they've been watching you, whoever this person is, whoever this King of Wands is, stalking, stalking, not talking. This is somebody that, it's Capricorn energy. This is somebody that, I'm hearing melodrama and I don't know what the fuck that word means. What is melodrama? Somebody just touched my hand. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. No fucking care. All right. So you got melodrama. What the fuck is melodrama? What is melodrama? Melodrama. A sensational dramatic piece with exaggerated characters and exciting events Intended to appeal to the emotions. He gloated like a villain in a Victorian melodrama. It's a play interspersed with songs and orchestral musical music accompanying the action. Melodrama. A work such as the movie or play characterized by extravagant theory the mm -hmm. And by the predominance of plot and physical action over characteristic and action with a flair for melodrama. There's somebody here that, that is melodramatic. This person could be melodramatic. This could be you. 
I mean, I get dramatic. I get really fucking dramatic. I fucking, I have a lot of passion for my videos. So when I do my videos, I put it all on the table. That's why I'm tapped. A lot of readers don't do that. You know, a lot of readers won't cry or a lot of readers won't, you know, they're so good. I'm not saying they're not, but a lot of them won't show so much of themselves. You know, and I'm, I'm not putting any readers down out there. I'm just telling you. But for me, I, I, I go all in with my fucking videos. I go all, in, go all in. There's somebody here. There's somebody watching. There's somebody watching this King of Wands. It's melodramatic. That could be you as well. Mm. I asked about the King of Wands. What about this King of Wands? This is somebody who's been watching you, that feels bound to you, wants to keep you stuck, wants to keep you held down. There's somebody here that's been keeping an eye on you and watching you, but you're out here fucking doing your thing. When I asked about the King of Wands, Knight of Swords and Five of Swords came out. This could be somebody that sabotaged or tried to sabotage you or sabotaged con the connection. This could be somebody that rushes in impulsively, speaks impulsively because you got the swords here, which is basically communication. Five of swords came out anyways. That's fear. That's, you know, I said it earlier. Again, this person wants to come in and fucking beat out the competition. Now, if this is your business, maybe there's a competitive energy that's around and they, you know, and they want to rush in and take the competition down. Because you're going to be successful, right? You're going to be successful. You're going to receive something from the divine. Somebody wants to do teamwork with you. Somebody wants to work with you and compromise. And now whoever this is wants to rush in with communication that sabotaged this. Whatever this is, they sabotaged it. Oh, my head hurts. Who is this person that sabotaged this? Yeah. Shit. Seven of Pentacles. This is about your future. This is somebody who wanted to invest. Yeah. Somebody that was, I go, I mean, she's fucking pregnant. <laughs> somebody sabotaged a good thing. Somebody tried to sabotage an investment. You're the Empress. But also, this is somebody who could have been pregnant or could have, like, you were birthing something, you were creating something, and somebody tried to take your creation or tried to. Take your investment. There's something here. Empress card keeps fucking coming out. Pregnancies keep coming out in the readings. I don't know what the fuck's going on, guys. I'm just saying. There's somebody here that... that mm, King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Are you fucking kidding me? King of Queen of Pentacles. This is a match. This person could have been like... In a commitment, whoever this person is could have been committed to somebody because the, the king and queen of pentacles are a married couple usually, especially a match. This person doesn't have to be. This could have been a couple that was doing this to you. Yeah. This could have been a couple. Remember I said the ding and I just got a message? <laughs> yeah, some, they tried to... Hmm. Chariot was on top of six of pentacles and six of wands sideways. This can go really fast, whatever this is. I feel like with it being sideways on the six of pentacles and the six of wands, I feel like things were about to move forward. Things were about to come in fast, but then something halted. And I feel like somebody, cause somebody's trying to come in and like communicate. Communication is swords. King, Queen of Pentacles, this could be a, a actual couple. <clears throat> or this could be you and somebody else in a commitment. Both of you are loyal. Both of you are committed. Both of you are practical and grounded and thinking about the future. And then you have... <sighs> you have this. You have this energy... 
This empress. Does somebody see you like the empress? Yes, because you're magnetic. You're receiving a lot. Okay, it's an investment. You invest it in yourself. So you're putting everything into yourself. But I also feel like there's there could have been somebody that was in the way of this, of whatever this was happening. Somebody was trying to block a creation or somebody was somebody that maybe was pregnant or baby mom or whatever, baby daddy, you take it how it resonates because she's pregnant. And pregnancy has been coming out in most of the readings around in the collective. I'm just telling you. But there's something about planting the seeds. Somebody wants to plant their seeds in you, maybe. Plant their seed in you. Get you pregnant. That's what I'm hearing as well. Because I'm seeing the two worlds as like little seeds. Yeah, like a sunflower cut in half. Kind of like the, um, em is it the embryo? I don't even fucking remember. Science was so long ago. Somebody wants to invest in you, for sure. But there's something here about the Empress. There's big heart. I feel like you got somebody's heart. You might end up pregnant. Be careful. There's going to be somebody in here that's, that you might get pregnant with. And I feel like this baby has to come in or this creation has to be done. There's something here about a creation. Knight of Pentacles, this person, yup, this person's been working slowly on coming in. Whoever this is, they've been working slowly on coming in, but they may be, they may be impulsive. They may rush in and fucking be very impulsive because they can't, they're, they're tired of the fear. They're tired of, they don't want competition. Now, if this is something else and you feel like there was competition, there's something here. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords was, uh, was King and Queen of Pentacles. Strategy, planning, deceit, lies. I'm just saying, there. whatever this is, I'm going to pick these up. I'm going to do the energy oracles. Whatever this is, is just, I don't like the energy. <laughs> I don't like the energy because the seven of swords was, was with the king and queen of pentacles. And this could very well be somebody that was trying to take you down. And they were a couple that was trying to take you down and you didn't even realize it. Or trying to keep you from, it was devil energy, right? Devil energy here was trying to keep you from being with somebody. Somebody was in fucking devil energy. I'm also hearing like... I'm also hearing like, um, oh my God, I don't even know. Oh, never mind. I was going to say somebody's grandma or somebody's mother, somebody's, um, maternal, maternal, some maternal. All right. Let's see what is coming in for the collective. <laughs> what is coming in for the collective? Somebody's got competition energy. I feel like, I feel like you're going to have a lot of options. You're going to have a lot of opportunities and somebody's like, feels that competition energy and wants to come towards you. Somebody wants to stop your abundance. Somebody wants to stop your, somebody wants to stop your creation, stop your success. What does the collective need to know, please, Spirit? Give me clear, concise messages for the collective. Show me the cards I need to see. You're going to be nervous when this communication comes. There's... Hmm. What is about this communication? I should have asked more on that. I don't understand what the communication is. Things are going to be set right. There's somebody coming in that's going to fight for you. Somebody's defending your honor. Somebody's going to defend your name. You could have had slander put on you or something like that. Somebody's going to, I feel like somebody was melodramatic. Somebody very like, eh, I need all the attention. But somebody's going to, somebody's literally going to put, put them in their place. Somebody's going to defend you. You might be going through a lawsuit about this or you will be. 
Somebody was trying to say that you were. Mm, 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 mm. What does the collective need to know, please, spirit? You're protected. What does the collective need to know, please, spirit? What does the collective need to know, please, spirit? Magician in the mirror, carrying connections. You need to know that whatever you've been manifesting is coming in. If you've been manifesting a care and connection, which is funny because I saw this card and that's why I was told to grab the deck. Magician in the mirror. You could be a magician yourself. You could be somebody that works with magic, works with energy. You're somebody that can manifest because like I said, with that magician, this is also somebody that can manifest. I said that before. 53 years old. You could be 53 you could have a 14 year old. Yeah, somebody's envious of your of the care, the caring connection. There's somebody here that might have been trying to stop you from having a connection with someone. Because they were envious of you. Because they were envious of you. This person's going to look at you, it's going to hold you from behind, it's going to care for you and love you and want to give you flowers. There was somebody here Somebody here was envious of this connection. There was somebody here trying to stop whatever connection was trying to come in. And it's like communication was blocked. Your name was put through the mud. There's going to be pure, genuine love coming in for you. Whether this is somebody that you know or somebody that you is new you're manifesting something it's coming in but understand if they're not envious right there's somebody and this caring connection doesn't even have to be romantic it could also be like somebody that like you have friendship with there's somebody here that was envious of this or will be envious when when people see your your connection that you're gonna have they're gonna be like fuck i don't want why they gotta be why do they have to be happy uh, uh, why couldn't I be happy? Bitch, fucking make yourself happy. Fuck. How many more? What does the collective need to know about this connection? Raphael. And then you got Angel of Strength. I'm telling you, angels are fucking... Angels are here. Angels are protecting this. You got divine angelic protection. You might be an earth angel yourself, but Archangel Raphael came through. You could be 38 years old. You might have healed your heart or had to open up your heart and heal your heart in order for you to get this, this connection. Angel of strength. You have fucking resilience, man. You are highly protected. Holy. You are highly protected, whoever you are. Tell me more about this caring connection. This person is going to protect you, by the way. This person could be an angel in disguise. This person is going to protect you and, act, and have a lion spirit. Could be a Leo. Going to have a lion spirit and like be like, Try me. Where's that fucking card? Shit. Hopefully it comes out. Because I want to see. I want to see that. What? I'm studying you. <laughs> what does the collective need to know about this connection, please? Told you you guys are protected by the angels. Woman holding a heart. Woman holding a heart. Whatever you've been manifesting, this caring connection, some you you got somebody's heart. You have somebody's heart. Not the other way around. You got the butterfly on your third eye. Third eye is open. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Crown chakra. I mentioned that already with the, with the telling you, you are manifesting a caring connection coming in. You already have Raphael and Ur Uriel. And then you got woman holding a heart. You have somebody's heart. Tell me more about this caring connection coming in for the collective, please. Tell me more about this person coming in for the collective, please. Tell me more about this person coming in for the collective, please. Happy family. Envy. Envy. Somebody. This could be somebody that was all tied up. Because they were working on their family. This is somebody that was kept possibly away from you. 
somebody was fucking doing binding magic possibly on your connection or wants to, they're envious. All tied up, happy family. Somebody's trying to have a happy family. Maybe this person was trying, remember I said about somebody that was melodramatic? That person was trying to keep you from having this fucking caring connection coming in with the happy family because they wanted the happy family. That was somebody, there's, there's going to be somebody that's jealous, a jealous, a jealous ex or a jealous mother or something like that. There's something that has to do with something maternal. There is a happy family coming in, but this person right now might be tied up because they're, they're dealing with family issues. Two, three, four. Look at this shit. You could be 41 years old as well. Look at two, three, four progression. Somebody was working on family issues or needs to work on family issues. You are going to have a happy family with whoever this person is, but I feel like right now they're all tied up. Envy. Ooh, envy keeps coming out of the bottom. People are going to be very envious of this connection. Tell me more. Tell me more about this all tied up, please. What is this all tied up? What is this all tied up? Blossoming abundance. Somebody was trying to keep your, because they have an envy, somebody was trying to keep your happy family, your caring connection, what you were manifesting, and your blossoming abundance all tied up. Somebody was trying to block your connection to spirit. You have, a, you have a spiritual connection with this person. You have a divine connection with God. And the blossoming abundance fell on top of happy family. There was somebody here that was trying to block out your blossoming abundance, your caring connection. They were strategizing and they were trying to get you off your game. They were trying to keep you blocked with your with your. Listening to messages. Door to spirit is usually a spiritual communication. This is usually like spirit and having their hand in it. The angels have been, have been helping and protecting this. But there's a reason why they were protecting you from this. With the door to spirit in reverse, this is somebody that was trying to fuck with your crown. But you're real. Mm -mm. Nope. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. You know better. You know something was that you, they've been trying to fuck with your manifestations. They've been strategizing this whole time. Look at strategizing to put you in financial constraints. Strategizing to put you in financial. You might have had problems with money, or that person had problems with money, and they're trying to figure out a way that they can work on things. Maybe this person's broke, trying to get money. Shit. Somebody was holding up your abundance. Number 13 might mean something. 21, 13. 13 through the 21st. Is today the 13th? Today is the 13th. 13 through the 21st can mean something in this month. Or next month I'm hearing as well. So remember those dates. There's something here about strategy. Journaling, you might be, you might have been doing a lot of journaling. You might have been doing like, there's something, something's about to open up for you. Somebody was strategizing to keep you in this. Somebody was strategizing to keep you in this. Why? Why was somebody strategizing to keep you in financial constraints? Why was somebody strategizing to keep you in financial constraints? Look at that. Woman holding a coin. Because it was somebody that wanted money. Somebody was holding on to their money. Or your money. Shit. Somebody's been watching you. You could be 42 years old. Somebody with an attachment. Look. Somebody had an attachment. Was wearing a mask. And it was this woman holding a coin. Somebody was money hungry. Somebody was money hungry. That's what I feel. I asked what was the strategy to keep you into financial constraints. This person that was supposed to be coming your way. All tied up. Dealing with family issues. Dealing with bullshit. Being financially constrained. Constraining you. 
trying to block out your messages from spirit kept you tied up. You're, you kept your happy family tied up, your connections tied up, your, your everything. And it's a woman holding a coin. It's somebody here that is obsessed with money, has an attachment to money. If this is a person right here that, that you were trying to manifest or you were in communication with and connection with, contact with, and then all of a sudden something happened where it's like, boom, everything stopped. Check this. This person's got an attachment to that person. This could be somebody that's an ex, a jealous ex, a jealous mom, whatever. Jealousy, envy. My wind is picking up outside. Damn. You're going to find out who this person is. You already know probably. But see, found. They kept this person attached to them because of money. And if this is you having financial constraints, which I think it is too, I think it's both of you. Somebody had an attachment to somebody that was trying to keep your money, trying to, from something about your money, your luck, your money, your fortune, 42. Damn. Let me tell you, you got the world here, right? They might watch you in the world. You might be seen in the world, networking, right? My phone just went off. There's something here about you closing out a cycle. Things are about to come full circle for you. And this world card right here. The lights are going crazy. This world card right here, somebody sees you out in the world. This is somebody that may, may see you online and watch you online. Broken heart and angel of balance. Let me tell you something. Somebody here has a fucking broken heart. You could be 29 years old or 48 years old. Somebody here has a broken heart. They watch you online. Their heart is broken. They know you're going to make something of yourself in the world. They, they want to give this person here wants to fucking give you the world, has a broken heart. Somebody broke their heart. Somebody that was keeping them just for money has a broken heart. Angel of balance is coming in. Angels are on this. Boom. Angels are on this. Tell me about this woman holding a coin. Who is this woman holding a coin? Who is this woman holding a coin? Now you got Shamio. Somebody that was taking your, your personal power. They're telling you to take your power back. Man holding a heart. Could be a man that you gave your heart to. Could have been holding up a fucking... And then you got Gabriel underneath. Dude, I'm telling you. Like, throat chakra. Somebody was trying to keep you from speaking as well. Door to value, up or down. Deceit. Deceit was on top of woman holding a coin and attachment. Deceit. Up or down. Metatron. I love you, Metatron. Door to value, Metatron. Metatron, you have so many angels in this fucking reading. I can't even... Somebody was trying to deceive you. Look at, look at this person. Look at this motherfucking person. Look like an evil motherfucker too. 25. I asked, what is this woman holding a coin? What, what is this? Tell me more about her. This person. Deceit. This person was deceiving your person. Your person that you want. Or deceiving... And if this isn't a person that you wanted, right? This is somebody you were manifesting. It doesn't have to be somebody from your past. It can be just a new connection. There was somebody deceiving. Somebody was taking everything from you. Somebody was like, hey, that person's got money. I'm going to steal that. I'm going to work my fucking magic. I'm going to work my magic so I can fuck this person up. Take, my, take your blessings. Take your abundance. Take your money. Take your love for themselves. There's somebody here that had an attachment. Mask came off. You're going to find out who this person is if you don't already know. This person deceived you and deceived the person that's supposed to come in. There is somebody here that has a broken heart. I feel like it's somebody that you know. I do feel like it's somebody that you know. I'm sorry, I do. I feel like it's somebody that you know that has a broken heart that was supposed to have a connection with you. They're all tied up with family issues because they're dealing with bullshit from a bitch. Sorry, but let's call it what it is. 
woman holding a coin and attachment. Causing financial constraints in your life, causing financial constraints in their life. And why? They've been deceitful. This woman could have even like, I'm, you know, take it, take it for whatever you guys fit it. That they were like, they were, they were holding your person. Look at this. You got all tied up in attachment. You guys can't see that. All tied up in attachment, bookending each other. This is somebody here, 105.15. Your life's about to change. I'm telling you right now, your life's about to change. Because no matter what, you're still going to get that caring connection. It doesn't matter if it's the person you were trying to be with or somebody else. Whatever's coming in is coming in. Angel of Balance is here. Things are going to be made right. Okay? You got third chakra and Archangel, Archangel Shamuel with the personal power solar plexus. Then you got man holding a heart. There's somebody here that they have your heart. This could have been this person too. That was like stealing from you, taking from you, whatever. I don't feel like that's the case though. It could have been, but it doesn't have to be. Somebody that you gave your heart to, maybe was taking your personal power. I don't believe that's true though. I feel like there's something else. I feel like somebody else was doing it. Maternal. I'm hearing maternal. There's somebody here, you could be 45 or 37 years old. There's somebody here that you have their heart and they have yours. Anyway, you got door to value and sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, and then you have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Let me see here. Somebody was fucking with your chakras. Hold on a second. You got... Raphael, Raphael, Uriel, Samuel, Metatron. Now Gabriel, that's five angels protecting this, protecting you. Because now you know your worth. You're about to get all that you owe, that you're owed. You are. And I hate to even say that anymore because I know people out there are fucking mischievous and deceitful somebody was wearing a lot of red red is important red is really important you're gonna see it you're gonna see it they could have a black cat you're, you're gonna see it black cat's intuition though your intuition was telling you something there's something here about you seeing your worth now metatron is fucking protecting this your third eye is wide open your third eye is wide open. You got fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Somebody might have been trying to keep you from speaking. Nah. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Anything else the collective needs to know about this connection? Anything else this collective needs to know about this connection? Adjacent possibilities. Yup. Somebody was causing, I'm telling you, woman holding a coin. Somebody was holding up somebody's money. Somebody that had an attachment. Maybe they had an attachment to you. Maybe you had an attachment to them. Maybe you had to let go of the attachment. But I feel like because it fell on top of there, look at somebody was causing indecision. Look at that. Woman holding a heart. You're the one holding this person's heart. And this person appreciates you. They may not show it. You know why they don't show it? Because they're not allowed to. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You can't fucking jump to conclusions until you know. And I know because I've fucking been in that so many times. I'm just like, all right, I'll just wait, whatever, do my thing. You have adjacent possibilities. This fell on top of strategy and financial constraints with woman holding a coin. All of this bullshit here. This fell right on top. You have doors open for you now. Because you know why? Because all these doors that you had open for you, open before, somebody was trying to cause indecision. Somebody was trying to cause confusion. You're, you're confused now. You don't know which way to go. You have so many options coming your way now. You're like, do I go left? Do I go right? You're going to be at a crossroads when, when somebody comes in because now you got options. Now you got all opportunities. All eyes on you. All eyes around you. Woo! All eyes on you. Hold on. Wow. 
Wow, five angels protecting this. I cannot. This, the, six angels, because angel of balance. But either way, protecting you. Yeah, you're, you've been, you're, you're, you're being protected by the angels. Whoever you are. But they were trying to cause this. They, they didn't like the fact that you had a divine connection. They did not like the fact that you had a divine connection to God. They didn't like the fact that you were chosen. Because you're a real chosen. You're not a fake. They did not like the fact that you were, that you're a chosen one. Whoever that woman with the heart, with um with the coin that was strategizing and trying to keep your your money blocked and all that, I'm telling you, it could be could be in your family lineage. There's somebody maternal, whether with that with that person or on your side. There's something there that was keeping you from 111 11 was just on my clock. 01 11 11. Whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. You won't have to fight for it. You won't have to beg for it. You won't have to chase it. You're just going to let it come. And sometimes the best thing to do is release and let it go. Really fucking let it go. And let God bring in whoever is meant for you. And let God bring in whatever is meant for you. Sometimes that's better. Oh, I want to find out more, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm like, I don't want to do this, but I, I, I can't. I feel like I got to know, know more. I got to know more. You got to know more. Yeah, there's, there's. I just want to know what the communication was. What is the communication that the, that the collective is nervous about or what is this communication that someone's nervous about I feel like I'm sorry I'm getting a download <laughs> Gotta get my eyes back in order here. <laughs> what is this communication? The chariot. Advanced success. Things are about to move forward for you. Whatever this communication is, yin yang, black and white. That's the emperor guiding the chariot. What is this communication coming in for the collection? Queen of Swords went right on top. Swords are communication. This is about speaking truth. Protecting your heart, but speaking truth. Having boundaries up. There's something here about boundaries. You needing to have boundaries, possibly. Is that a person's face? Yep. That is a person's face. That is crazy. An angel is on here, too. This is communication about somebody might have cut you out. Because let me tell you something, the Queen of Swords is somebody that cuts the head off and watches it roll. Queen of Swords. There's communication coming in about somebody may, might have cut you out. I'm hearing somebody might have cut you out of the will too or out of inheritance. There's something here about that. Dominion. Somebody wants to move forward with you. They don't want to look back. They don't want to look back. What is this communication that this person's um, worried about? A lot of anxious energy with this person. Strength. Yep. They're trying to get the strength. That's what it is. They're trying to get the strength. There's that lion, right? What is this communication that's coming in for the collective that this person wants to, that someone is nervous about? What is this communication? World. The world. The sun. <laughs> Hover down.
<laughs> ah, you got you got a ton of swords here. Somebody was fucking betrayed. That could be you. This person might be freaking coming in to talk to you about they were betrayed. Or they betrayed you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was burdened. I had a lot of shit. But I'm still coming towards you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at these cards like, oh, yeah, oy vey. Ah, look at this. Despair and cruelty. This person has not been able to sleep because of what they did. They, there was somebody here. This could be somebody coming in to talk to you that you don't know that is connected to someone else. There's somebody here that was trying to, I'm telling you, this person's, this person's, I can't sleep because I betrayed you. I can't sleep because I've been betrayed. I'm not laughing because this person was betrayed. What happens is this, right? Whatever you dish out, you're going to get dished back. If you if you betray somebody, disappoint somebody, hurt somebody, you're going to get that same fucking shit back. Not by that same person. It doesn't have to be by that same person. It's by somebody else. It's going to be by someone else. Friend, family, lover, coworker, boss, doesn't matter. It's going to come like this. And then you're like, fuck, that's my karma. Damn right. Because karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. So you have here. The world card, somebody's trying to come in, okay, trying to get the strength. They're so nervous to come and communicate with you. They want a fresh new start. Things are coming full circle. They made it through the portal. They made it through the portal. This is the fool going through the world or through the portal, okay, taking a risk. Somebody here wants to take a risk with you. The world card came out, I think, three times, right? I think, I think. Either way. There's somebody here that wants a fresh new start with you. That's what they're worried about talking to you about. Infinity symbol with the red color up top. This person wants to come in and tell you you're their whole world. You complete them. They completed a cycle. Maybe you completed a cycle. Maybe this person has to had to cut out someone in order for them to close that cycle in order for them to come towards you. Or you had to fucking close out a cycle and basically close out a karmic cycle and cut, cut things out and just be like, wash my hands of it. But I feel like it's this person. And so what's this communication that's coming in for the collective that someone's worried about? Somebody's worried they're going to get cut out of your life for good. Somebody's worried that I don't want, you know, they don't, they don't want to look back. They want to move forward with you. They're trying to get, gain the strength to come in the world card, full circle, this is somebody that could be your, your twin flame, perfected work. Could be your twin, doesn't have to be. Could be a high level soulmate. This is somebody that wants to commit to you. Four of Wands. Somebody that wants to commit to you. Something might happen around Christmas time. I know I say that a lot, but the way I'm looking at the way the gold is on top of the, the, the bush part, whatever. And again, a church. There's a church. There's a celebration coming in. This person wants to celebrate with you, wants to, I'm hearing, wants to lock you down. Somebody here wants to lock you down. You got the sun and you got the seven. The, okay, the sun and then you got success unfulfilled. This person has planted the seeds. There's somebody here that planted the seeds. They want to invest in you and they want to invest in their happiness. This person wants to be happy. And I feel like the only way they feel they can be happy and truly, truly live a happy life is with you. Seven of Pentacles right here, reflecting, looking at all the seeds they planted, waiting for them to grow. The Emperor right here. Emperor right here. This is somebody that's bossing up. This is somebody that's going to take a lead, take the lead. You won't have to worry about having to chase after anybody. Anything else on this communication coming in for the collective? Yup. There it is. Communication. This person's been in their head about it. Because they fucking love you. 
This person's been in their head about it. Whoever this person is, you got options. You got people coming towards you. And this, yep. And this person's in their head about it. And then why they're in their head about it? Because they know that being with you, holy shit. You, they know you get a lot of love. They know you get a lot of people that love you. They know that. And anybody be fucking lucky to have you in their life. Anybody be fucking lucky to have you be with them in a relationship. And this person knows it. There's something about you with this person. Could be your twin, doesn't have to be. But Knight of Swords, look at this shit. Action. Knight of Swords on top of the Four of Wands. Somebody's taking action. They want to take action. They want to speak their truth. They might be very impulsive. This emperor, whoever this is, might be very impulsive to come and talk to you because they've been in their head so long, so much that they can't sleep. I feel like spirit is bombarding whoever this is. I feel like spirit has been bombarding whoever the fuck this is to come and talk to you because they can't sleep. They may have headaches. They may have migraines. Their sinuses might all be fucked up. They might not be, they, they might get maybe two hours of sleep at the most. They're, they're having nightmares. They're in their head, overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. But what they don't realize is this could be somebody that's in their head Someone that's in their head causing this. I hate to say it, guys. This could actually be you as well in your head and can't sleep about whatever this is. But some don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. That communication that's coming in, it's going to be good communication. Things are going to start moving forward. Cherry is the fastest card in the deck. You got angels already protecting this and protecting you. They, the, your angels were protecting you from whatever shit was going on with them. Yep. All right. I'm going I'm to go because I'm hungry. <laughs> one twenty-two twenty on the clock. I know it was a longer one, but it is what it is. I couldn't help it. I was like, I want to know what this communication is because, you know, why leave it, right? Why leave it? I should really start doing extendeds and cut it off at a half an hour because you guys get this for free. And it's not about the money. It's just kind of like, oh, I get tapped after a while. Um. Anyways, if you guys want to send me a donation, I'm not asking for it. I'm just saying do not monetize. I don't monetize on this channel, so don't send it to YouTube. I won't get it. Don't waste your money on me. If you don't, if you know for a fact, you're not, you're not going to send it to me. So Venmo, PayPal, Cash App in the description box. Email me if you want a personal reading. Okay. There are, um, yes, I still have those. I have the same prices up, but it is what it is. Um, I know eventually Spirit's going to have me raise them and I don't feel right now is the right time. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, with that being said, <clears throat> email me. I'll never come to you. Watch out for scammers. Okay. Watch out for scammers when it comes to people email or, um, you know, don't, we, we're never going to go to you and say, Hey, do you want a reading? Never. I've had people email me and say, or like message me and say, Hey, um, I could pay you the $34. I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, uh, no, I didn't reach out to you. That's not me. Don't, don't send that money to that person. That is not me. So save yourself the trouble. All right. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed to my channel and you haven't liked the video, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here anyway. Yeah. All right. Good luck with everything. <laughs> I'm going to go relax now. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and remember you are the prize. Remember you are the prize. Okay. Anybody would be lucky to have you in their life. Okay. If you got some shit to work out, if you got some shit to heal, heal that shit, heal that shit. But if you don't, we're always healing. I don't care. Everybody's always healing. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.